These folks have just marched up from the Metro Courthouse after the Metro Council unanimously reinstated former Representative Justin Jones, who just last Thursday was expelled from the state legislature for going into the well of the House with a bullhorn and protesting in regards to the Covenant School shooting. And we are going to go out live to News 2's Stephanie Langston to get an update there. Stephanie. Well, we are here. We just hiked from the council chamber up to the Capitol. You can hear the crowd here applauding loudly. Oh, I see it's because we have Justin Pearson over here to our left-hand side. If uh, Z can hand over there and show you, there's Justin Pearson walking up right now to an applauding crowd. Looks like he's going to make his way into the Capitol just a little after five o'clock now. But Justin Jones hustled over here after a unanimous vote for him to be reappointed as the interim successor of District 52. You know, the mayor kicked things off, calling this an unprecedented vote, but it's calling last week's actions of the expulsion that as well. But it's a vote the majority of Metro Council members have been vocal about making since the expulsion Thursday night. Today, we're seeing a lot of these folks holding signs saying, No, Justin no peace. This is what democracy looks like. And there's no doubt hundreds of people here. I'd say uh, when we began hiking over here to the Capitol with them from the council chambers, the crowd stretched probably five or six blocks there. So we're out here uh, with the supporters of Justin Jones that were also inside during that vote. He stood on top of the pew uh, just before that vote got underway and uh, started singing in light of this. We're going to toss things back to you, Bob.